Thank you for clicking It's Starting Now. Rivals of Ether 2 is releasing in just under two weeks, and we are extremely excited to finally get our labor of love out into the world. As part of our lead up to launch, we're getting you the full download on what to expect in the game with a series of videos featuring our studio lead, Dan Fernacy. Last week, we talked about the key features the game will launch with, and today we're talking about our currencies, cosmetics, and how they tie into progression. Our goal is to keep things fun, fresh, and rewarding, all while making it so we can keep giving you new content. Plus, it's a way to ensure your character in game has as much personality as you do, so you can style on your opponents in style. This is the second in a three-part series of videos. Our final topic after this one will include our plans for the game post-launch. Hello, I'm Dan Fernacy, the studio lead at Ether Studios. And yes, we've seen your concerns. That I'm not doing a good enough job of taking your money. That's my bad. I'll definitely work on that one in the future. But for now, I'd like to share our vision for our business model, the game's economy, and the in-game currencies in Rivals of Ether 2. Now that's the question everyone's been asking me, and I'm happy to say that the game will be $29.99 USD with region-specific pricing through Steam. There will be a variety of cosmetics so players can customize their experience. We are designing our cosmetics and economy systems in a way that not only keeps our studio going, but also feels fair to our players. There will be skins that drastically change the look of your character, and even add visual effects and sound effects at some of the higher rarities. There will be palettes that change the colors of your characters on both the default skin as well as some of the premium skins. There will be taunts so you can style on your opponents mid-match. There will be icons so you can customize your profile. There'll be emotes so you can talk to your opponent in between online matches. There'll be death effects that change the explosion that happens when you get KO'd. And you can even change your respawn platform for when after you get back. All in all, there'll be approximately 300 different cosmetics in game at launch. The main way is by just playing the game. Through the character progression, you'll be unlocking cosmetics or currencies each time you level up a character. Also, like we mentioned in our previous video, there will be free monthly events where you can unlock themed cosmetics. And finally, you can purchase cosmetics by using the two different in-game currencies. Ether coins are the currency you get by just playing the game. You can earn XP in any game mode and get coins by leveling up. You can spend these in the coin shop. Ether bucks are primarily acquired by spending real money, but can also be earned through play. You'll get some Ether bucks through character levels and even more by playing in the monthly events. You can spend these in the buck shop. 100 ether bucks are worth $1, and one ether buck can get you 100 ether coins. We aren't trying to hide anything, but you'll have to do just a little bit of math. The coin shop refreshes each day with new items available for ether coins. You don't have to play every day, but doing so will show you more options. And whenever you purchase an item, the shop automatically restocks one from the same category. The buck shop is a premium static shop with a growing catalog of high ticket items. This is where you can buy something like the Chef Loxodon skin that we teased back in April. Go here if you love Ether Studios and want us to keep making cool stuff. Cosmetics will help us pay for upkeep and allow us to create new content. If you're sad that you missed a monthly event and didn't get the rewards in time, don't worry. The grindable cosmetics will enter the coin shop once the event ends and the premium items will remain in the buck shop forever. We're adamant about only selling cosmetic items that don't affect gameplay. Our plan is that all future characters and game modes will be free. There will be new skins and other cosmetics added every month to both in-game shops. We'll also be partnering with creators and event organizers to introduce new cosmetics earned outside the game. With that, we have covered most of what will be available in the game at launch. Next week, we'll be sharing something that many of you have been asking about. That's right the post-launch roadmap. So stay tuned.